So today's lecture is about CNS revision by MCQ. So I'm going to talk about various MCQs and uh, I hope I am uh, audible and I am visible. The screen is visible to you as such, right? So we are going to talk about various, uh, yes, good evening, good evening. Uh, so Indranil, can you just confirm if you can see my uh, screen as well as I can hear me, just type yes, if you can see, do that, right? If you can see me and even you can hear me properly and the screen is everything is visible. Yes, all right. So uh, we'll start uh, with the CNS revision so uh, the uh, rest can join later on. So I'm going to talk about few MCQs and which are important for your examinations point of view and we're going to uh, around from, uh, all right. So and as we discuss the MCQs, I'm going to talk about various uh, other important points about around those MCQs as such, right? All right. Now the first question, let's do start with the first question and therefore I will uh, tell you what are the important things to know about this question. Now this question is a 59 year old male with schizophrenia and obesity presents for routine monitoring. He is currently on olanzapine as he developed tardive dyskinesia on haloperidol. The patient should be monitored for which of the following conditions due to his medication. Okay? So now the important things here to note, kya kya hai? first is the patient is a schizophrenic patient and he is obese and he is presented with routine monitoring. Currently the patient is on olanzapine which is your atypical antipsychotic right as he developed tardive dyskinesia on heroperidol and we know that typical antipsychotics they tend to cause tardive dyskinesias. The patient should be monitored for which of the following conditions because of his medication. So whether it is hemochromatosis, whether it is diabetes, whether it is hemolysis or whether it is malignancy. Now what is the important thing What is supposed to know? So you actually are supposed to know which this olanzapine hai, what does it actually cause? So what should we be looking for? So before I come to the answer, so let's see what are the various side effects of atypical antipsychotics. Now clozapine is one of the most frequently asked atypical antipsychotic drugs. Or what all you should know about clozapine. Okay, so what all you should know about clozapine that it has a tendency to cause seizure. It has a tendency to cause agranulocytosis. It has a tendency to cause myocarditis. It can cause sedation and it can cause one other important thing is hyper salivation hyper salivation also called as sialuria okay also called as sialuria and this is also known as your wet pillow syndrome wet pillow syndrome very very important about this wet pillow syndrome bahut zyada important hai so patient sleeps at night and actually he is drooling out the saliva and he finds in the morning the pillow is wet isliye kehte hai usko wet pillow syndrome hypersalivation or sialuria and another important thing here is your metabolic syndrome metabolic syndrome ठीक है now what is this metabolic syndrome? Yehi metabolic syndrome hai. It can cause weight gain, diabetes, velitis, hyperlipidemia. So ab is question mein, if you go back to this MCQ, 
he is currently on olanzapine because he developed tardive dyskinesia so what are you supposed to monitor in olanzapine so if you see olanzapine here it has a high tendency to cause metabolic syndrome and how will you know that there is metabolic syndrome because you will either monitor for weight gain you will monitor for hyperlipidemia by doing the lipid levels and you will monitor his blood glucose levels and monitor for diabetes mellitus so the correct option what will be the correct option in this particular mcq the correct option in this particular mcq will be your diabetes mellitus theek hai so the correct option is going to be your diabetes mellitus because yahi aapko monitor karna hai then olanzapine olanzapine another important thing that you should keep in mind is that it has a tendency to cause stroke in the elderly we don't actually very cautiously we have to use in the elderly population because it has a tendency to cause stroke in these patients so these are the two important things olanzapine clozapine most prominently they both cause metabolic syndrome so we have to be very careful the weight gain everything that is very very common with olanzapine and clozapine theek hai so these are the two important drugs now side effects due to other atypical antipsychotics that you should be knowing what are these so risperidone it is one of the most potent dopamine to blocker among the atypical it has it is one of the most potent dopamine or d2 blocker and it has the highest risk of extra pyramidal syndrome highest risk of extra pyramidal syndrome so remember risperidone mein risk aata hai so risk means it has a high risk of causing extra pyramidal syndrome high risk of causing extra pyramidal syndrome remember this about risperidone ziprasidone what to know about ziprasidone is that it causes qt prolongation ziprasidone causes qt prolongation now how to remember this is ziprasidone has zip in it so if you see how or what a zip look like it looks like agar yahan se here so zip looks like something like theek hai something like this and how are we going to, and what is your torsadus de pointis qt prolongation leading to torsadus de pointis so how will you it something like this you know mirror images aise hote hain something like this so remember this zip zip ziprasidone so zip looks like something this and that is your torsadus de pointis or prolonged qt syndrome ye important hai about ziprasidone and this is one of the drugs which has no metabolic syndrome so there is no weight gain associated with this drug no metabolic syndrome no weight gain even aripiprazole these are weight neutral drugs there is no metabolic syndrome no weight gain nothing associated with this particular drug third important is quetiapine quetiapine ka important hai it causes the cataract formation this is important that is the cataract formation so risperidone risk of eps ziprasidone zip like tdp torsadus de pointis quetiapine cataract formation this is important for these atypical antipsychotics very very important points to know then uske baad side effects with the other antipsychotics side effects with the other antipsychotics which are actually your typical antipsychotics typical drugs or typical antipsychotics like haloperidol now haloperidol is one of the most potent drugs most potent right so most potent hai so most potent d2 block karega so most likely to cause extra pyramidal syndrome thiorodizine a typical drug which is least potent theek hai thiorodizine is least potent 
least potent blocker of D2 among the typical. So it has the least chance of causing the extrapyramidal syndrome, least chance of causing the extrapyramidal syndrome. But maximum anticholinergic side effects are seen with this. Okay? So maximum anticholinergic side effects are seen with this. And this is one of those typical antipsychotics which causes metabolic syndrome. Okay, which causes your metabolic syndrome. Number three, CPZ or chlorpromazine. Now, chlorpromazine ka hume kya important yada? Chlorpromazine C, say cholestatic jaundice. Very important to know. It causes cholestatic jaundice and maximum sedation is seen with chlorpromazine and the blue grain skin discoloration is seen with chlorpromazine. These three things are important. Cholestatic jaundice, maximum sedation, blue-gray skin discoloration. Okay? Ye few important points about the most frequently asked typical antipsychotics. And coming to the sabse zada frequent kya puchte hai? Sabse zada in the typical antipsychotics, what do they ask you? Yes, it is your extrapyramidal syndrome. Very, very important. Extrapyramidal syndrome. So they ask you, what you should know about the extrapyramidal syndrome. What are these extrapyramidal syndrome and what is the treatment for this extrapyramidal syndrome? So what you should know about this extrapyramidal syndrome, remember a mnemonic which is your ADAPT. A, D, A, P, T. ADAPT ek mnemonic hai. Remember. ADAPT mein jo A, D hai, that stands for acute dystonia. A stands for akathisia, P stands for Parkinsonism, T stands for tardive dyskinesia. And why it is important to remember this mnemonic in this way? Because AD, jo hota hai, that is the first to occur, earliest. And T, which is your tardive dyskinesia, is the last to occur. So that's why this mnemonic tells you the order of occurrence. Earliest is acute dystonia. The latest is the tardive dyskinesia. Okay? But, and the most common is your akathisia. Most common is akathisia. The last one, because I have not included in this mnemonic, is because it is not dependent, time dependent. Nahi. It is not time dependent. Malignant neurolept syndrome can occur anytime. So that's why uh, you could just remember it as malignant neuroleptic syndrome. And this is the most fatal, most fatal out of all these uh, extrapyramidal syndrome. Right? So let's start with the treatment now. Treatment is important. For acute dystonia, the treatment of choice is your centrally acting anticholinergic benzhexol. Okay? Same is with Parkinsonism. Same centrally acting anticholinergic benzhexol. Okay? For akathisia, the treatment of choice is beta blocker, propranolol. Propranolol is the treatment of choice here. Tardive dyskinesia. Now, tardive dyskinesia is slightly different than the others. Okay? So, what I would like to tell you here is acute dystonia, akathisia, Parkinsonism. All of them, they are because of dopamine blocker, D2 block. But tardive dyskinesia is because of the dopamine receptors becoming super sensitive. So what happens in tardive dyskinesia here? Let me explain you. Here. So let's draw or what happens in tardive dyskinesia over here. So let's say this is a presynaptic dopaminergic neuron. Postsynaptic. Here you have And we have the dopamine receptors present right so in the presynaptic neuron here we have the dopamine in the synaptic vesicle now remember as long as your dopamine is in the synaptic vesicle it is safe if dopamine is present here outside the synaptic vesicle in the presynaptic neuron it will get metabolized Right? So, it is present inside the 
uh, synaptic vesicle and there is a transporter which helps it uh, getting stored inside the synaptic vesicle is the VMAT, vesicular monoamine transporter. Now what happens in tardive dyskinesia is basically when the patients are on long-term therapy and once you immediately stop, stop the therapy, now the receptors of dopamine, they get super sensitized, super sensitive receptors. Okay? And once you stop the therapy and this uh, dopamine, it gets released because now there is no block, there is a lot of dopamine and it acts on these super sensitive receptors. So there is an exaggerated response. And that leads to dyskinesias. So here your treatment should be to decrease the effect of dopamine or to decrease the release of dopamine. So what we do here, the treatment which we give with drugs is like these drugs, they basically are going to block this particular transporter, VMAT transporter. So here the drugs which we have for tardive dyskinesia are your VMAT transporter inhibitors. And the approved drugs for VMAT transporter inhibitors. Uh, Vega Betrin drug of choice. Okay. For Vega Betrin drug of choice for. Uh, it is a drug of choice for infantile spasm with tuberous sclerosis. Right. There it can be used. Right. Kaushal. Ar, uh, Arnav, I think it is right. Okay, let me continue with this. The VMAT transporter inhibitor is valbenazine. Okay, valbenazine and du tetra benazine. Valbenazine and Okay, du tetra benazine approved. So this is the reason why we use these drugs for tardive dyskinesia. Malignant neurolept syndrome being the most fatal. So the drug approved here, we have your dantrolene. Okay, dantrolene which acts on the rhinodyne receptors. Dantrolene and the other drug which is more specific here is bromocryptine. Achha, achha, ha. Viga batrin, yeah. So, Viga batrin is different, valbenazine is different. Okay. So, Viga batrin is a proper anti epileptic drug. Okay, no? So, valbenazine is a VMAT uh, transporter inhibitor. Okay. So, valbenazine, due tetrabenazine approved for this. And okay, so here dantrolene bromocryptine. So, ye sara chart important hai for the EPS. Okay, EPS ke liye the whole uh, chart is important. So, remember the mnemonic adapt. Agar humne we want to learn the sequence A, D, A, P, T. Adapt is for acute dystonia, A is for akathisia, P is for Parkinsonism, T is for tardive dyskinesia. So, acute dystonia earliest to kya. Tardive dyskinesia sabse late to appear. Most common akathisia, most fatal is malignant neuroleptic syndrome and the treatment. So why we are giving the tardive dyskinesia is different. So I explained why you give it differently. What is the difference in the treatment? Got it? Okay. So this is the so all the side effects jo humne kiya, they're all important for the antipsychotics. So what are the side effects with atypical, typical, especially the extra pyramidal syndrome that you should know. All right. Okay, let's go to the next MCQ now. So the next MCQ is 18 year old man is diagnosed with major depression. He also has idiopathic epilepsy. Which of the following agents is contraindicated in this patient? So now you need to find Konsi drug hum use nahi karni chahiye, not to be used. Major depression with idiopathic epilepsy. Which of the following drugs is contraindicated here? Whether it is your bupropion, whether it is your fluoxetine, whether it is metazapine, whether it is venlafaxine. Konsi drug we should not give in this patient. So here, what we should know again is 
what are the side effects associated with these anti-epileptic drugs side effects associated with the anti-epileptic drugs and then only can you tell ki which drug should not be used so from this you know that you have to treat this treatment chahiye for this but the problem is this so any drug which can aggravate the epilepsy or the seizures that has to be not to be used so here the correct option is bupropion okay so <clears throat> i'll tell you the what are the important side effects with the each of these drugs right you should know bupropion is your atypical drug atypical antidepressant theek hai and it is used in smoking cessation right yes bupropion yes arnav bupropion so bupropion smoking cessation ke liye use hoti hai other drugs which can be used is varenicillin and we can use nicotine nicotine is available in the form of patch in the form of gums sprays theek hai so these are the other drugs used for smoking cessation so remember that bupropion causes seizure at high dose very important to remember so that's why it is contraindicated if patient already has a history of epilepsy right then is mianserine another drug its key important side effects are again seizures and bone marrow depression mianserine is not given in the option so that couldn't have been the answer theek hai mirtazapine which is a noradrenergic and specific serotonin antidepressant serotonergic antidepressant theek hai this is this is also asked as a question which is out of this is a nor uh, which of this is a nasa drug mirtazapine it is a drug of choice for depression with erectile dysfunction or insomnia because of the action on the h1 receptor it causes a lot of sedation so very good drug in case depression is associated with insomnia another side effect is weight gain theek hai and remember none of the atypical anti uh, sorry antidepressants will cause uh, the uh, these kind of side effects theek hai so it is a very good drug for erectile dysfunction nafazadone important is to know about it is a hepatotoxic drug it has a very shortest half life and it is hepatotoxic and trazodone sedation orthostatic hypotension and sop priapism ye teen cheeze sedation orthostatic hypotension and priapism three things are important for trazodone right this was about the atypical now typical drugs have lot of side side effects theek hai so tricyclic antidepressants bhara hua hai side effect se and currently not the drug of first choice theek hai so tremors and insomnia now one's question why it occurs these are the reasons given tremors and insomnia because of presynaptic nor uh, epinephrine uptake conduction defects because of fast channels these are the anticholinergic side effects whether so it is hypothermia midriasis urinary retention postural hypotension because of alpha block sedation because of histamine receptor block theek hai histamine receptors so these are the lots and lots of side effects with tricyclic antidepressants and why are these seen that is also the question asked why is the side effect seen with this particular drug right now ssris now in the option there was fluoxetine which is an ssri now ssri is ka main problem or main side effect which is usually asked is your sexual dysfunction major sexual dysfunction theek hai that is the so they will ask you which of these following is associated with sexual dysfunction and they'll give you one of these ssris another important thing is contraindicated with mau inhibitors contraindicated with mau inhibitors why 
because it causes increase in the serotonin levels. SSRIs will also increase serotonin level and because Mao is involved in the metabolism of serotonin that will also be high. Again it will be high so lots of serotonin leads to serotonin syndrome. The third one is SNRIs. The difference between TCA and SNRIs is that SNRI they do not inhibit the alpha or the muscarinic receptor or the histamine. They will have the effect on the reuptake of norepinephrine and serotonin but not on these. So this is the major difference between. So they will have all the side effects of TCA except the ones because of alpha blocking, muscarinic or the antihistaminic. Okay. So, jo is my options the in this particular MCQ, vanilla vaccine, metazapine and fluoxetine. None of them have the side effect of causing the seizure increase. Only this causes increase in the seizures. Okay. That's why this is the most important uh, or the most probable answer is your bupropion. And again, I've also discussed ki ye question smoking cessation may help karta hai. what are the other drugs for smoking cessation which is your varanasaline and nicotine another important question asked from this particular so this question say we've discussed all the important things about the antidepressants whatever it was asked previously i'm antipsychotics and then we have discussed the antidepressants right now this question again it is very very important because it is about lithium lithium is one drug you cannot afford to Revise, not a photo, not revise before going for an exam. Lithium, Digitalis, Phenytoin, Valproate, uh, yes, all drugs are very, very important. Favorite, amiodarone, antirhythmics and all. So, very important. So, a 22-year-old male uh, man is diagnosed with bipolar mood disorder and is started on lithium. The therapeutic action of lithium is thought to be caused by direct inhibition of which of the following. So, you see now here, the mechanism has been asked of lithium. Something or the other will be asked. Either it will be a side effect asked or it will be a mechanism asked or it will be the levels asked or it will be the treatment asked. Yes, it is inostol monophosphate. Very good. It is inostol monophosphate because we know that lithium ka action is somewhere around here. Yaha pe, hai? So it blocks the action of lithium. Then inostol banta hai, then PIP. Then PIP2, phospholipase C, diacylglycerol, IP3, and that's how the action. So lithium actually acts at this point. So this is the correct option because the rest of the options, lithium is not anywhere near it, right? Now, what are the important points? Now, I'll be incomplete if we don't discuss the important points about lithium. Okay, so it has a narrow safety margin. Please, you have to know about the levels. What are the levels for this lithium at least? So narrow safety margin ka matlab, maintenance ke liye, what is the allowed levels? 0.5 to 0.8 milli equivalent per liter. Acute mania ke liye, 0.8 to 1.2. Toxicity, if it is more than 1.5. And how will you know that there is toxicity patient will have patient will have ataxia patient will have coarse tremors patient will have diarrhea ye question aaya tha ki the patient on lithium presents with all these features so what is the level of uh, lithium in the plasma concentration or they can ask you, this is the uh, patient is on a uh, maniac patient of bipolar disorder and he is on some drug therapy and he has presented with these uh, side effects. So which drug uh, causes these side effects? Again, your answer is lithium. So toxicity, one more than 1.5. Okay? And treatment of toxicity, when the levels are greater than 4 milli equivalent per liter, then you will do dialysis again important okay 
treatment of toxicity when when you have to do dialysis when the levels are more than 4 milli equivalent per liter then this drug has an anti suicide property another important thing most common side effect with lithium is tremors okay most common it does cause hypothyroidism it does cause diabetes insipidus does cause weight gain but the most common side effect is your tremors and is he may say another question treatment of lithium induced diabetes insipidus amyloride okay treatment of lithium induced diabetes insipidus is amyloride drug which is contra this drug is contraindicated in pregnancy why because it causes cardiac defects what specific cardiac effect is it causing okay what specific cardiac effect it is causing it is causing Epstein's anomaly. Okay, so it is causing Epstein's anomaly. Important. So all these questions are very very important when we are talking about lithium. Okay, so this is important about lithium. Next one. Now, this is a kind of uh, question which you need to mug up. The drugs approved for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. New drug approved for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is idaravone, pyrocetam, adalimumab, or fluoxetine. Okay? So, kya is my important hai? You should know that drug is Adaravone. Okay? So, remember these, there are two important drugs for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. It is, yes, Adaravone. And they can ask you which of the drug which is used in amyotrophic lateral sclerosis can cause or is a free radical scavenger so this is a that can be a next time they might, might ask you the mechanism okay so which of the drug is a free radical scavenger it is adaravone second drug here is riluzole okay riluzole is a second drug which is used which is an nmd antagonist consider drug works in ALS, okay, Consi drugs works in ALS as an NMD antagonist. It is riluzole. One which works as a rad free radical scavenger is adaravone. These two important things to know. Now, is he say connected are there are some other NMD antagonists which you can know or which you can note and that is used for various conditions, right? So, we have memantine. So, memantine is used for Alzheimer's disease. Memantine for Alzheimer's disease. A camprosate decreases alcohol craving. Okay. A mantadine is used for Parkinsonism. Ketamine causes dissociative anesthesia felbamate though it is not much used yeah a camprosate very good decreases the alcohol craving yes okay felbamate ab isko use nahi karte hai, but it is an anti epileptic i'll tell you later why we don't use this as an anti epileptic anymore Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Anesthesia dissociative and it is an anti-epileptic. 
Great. So these are the various uh, drugs that we NMD antagonists that are important to know. Okay. Great, Anna. Now the next one, epilepsy. Very good. Now we come to another important topic, and uh, CNS cannot be complete if we don't have anti-epileptic question in it. Okay, Anna. So which of the following areas is likely to increase when carbamazepine? is added to valproate okay so which of the following adverse effects can increase when carbamazepine is added to valproic acid whether it is hepatotoxicity thrombocytopenia pancreatitis or hyperammonia which will increase hepatotoxicity thrombocytopenia pancreatitis or hyperammonia Which can increase? Mm, no, not thrombocytopenia. Answer is hepatotoxicity. Okay, hepatotoxicity increase करती है when we uh, add carbamazepine to valproate. ठीक है? So let's see which are the important side effects of anti-epileptics. Anti-epileptic side effects, uh, we discussed in a previous live on the Insta, but still I'm going to tell you what are the important side effects. You should know about the various ones. Like, for example, phenytoin is high hydantoin. Okay? High hydantoin. High ka H stands for hypersensitivity reactions. Hypersensitivity reactions. I stands for increased vitamin D metabolism. And that leads to osteomalacia. Another I may ho gaya, interferes, not I. Interference with folic acid. Absorption that leads to megaloblastic anemia. Right? Then G is gum hyperplasia or gum hypertrophy. Take it. H. Yes, again, there are two H's. One is your hyperglycemia. Other is hirsutism. Hirsutism. And your hydantoin, basically as such, we will remember fetal hydantoin. Syndrome. So some microcephaly and cleft lip, cleft palate, all that occurs in uh, hydantoin. So it is hydant, it is therefore. And remember one thing that all these side effects they occur at therapeutic levels. Therapeutic is ke levels may over a period of time when you're using them, but in a therapeutic levels may occur. Hote. The side effects which occur because of overdose are different. ठीक है? Overdose में side effect different है. So mainly you will have the patient CNS side effects आएंगे. Ataxia, nystagmus, ठीक है? Ataxia, nystagmus, incoordination. So patient ने लिया होगा phenytoin रात को overdose हो गई and the next day when he comes to the doctor he will be having double vision ठीक है and he won't be able to see anything a taxi I won't be able to walk in the line so that the doctor knows now that the patient has taken an overdose of phenytoin so that's an overdose sign and ये है सारे therapeutic levels वाले features please remember because there was a question which of the following side effects do not occur in the therapeutic range. So, if it was ataxia, then that would be the answer. 
right now valproate now valproate another very very important drug we cannot afford to miss so remember ek to ye cheez hai it is a drug of choice for gtcs myoclonic seizures atonic seizures absence seizures lenoir gastaut syndrome sab mein use hota hai theek hai absence seizures everything and its side effects are equally equally important so again this is the mnemonic to remember valproic theek hai v se vomiting or nausea git side effects a is your alopecia l is your liver damage or hepatotoxicity p pregnancy contraindicated because it causes the neural tube defects isko hum spina bifida we get theek hai so you have to give a agar kisi ko already hai to lot of folic acid needs to be given to these patients r is your rash o obesity you can say rather it is weight gain so just to remember it's actually weight gain to remember with o i increase in the tremors fine tremors theek hai c curling of hair so these are the important very very important side effects with valproic acid drug of choice you should know side effects you should know so you can see that uh, this is important right here to humne kiya tha see here this one liver damage tha na isme hepatotoxicity so a carbamazepine also is hepatotoxic then therefore it can also lead to both of when they are combined together so main problem or main issue is basically hepatotoxicity to remember carbamazepine it is a drug of choice for partial seizures the important point here to remember another important thing to remember is dilutional hyponatremia why because increases the adh oh sir theek hai adh like action theek hai so that's one thing then sjs steven johnson syndrome ataxia it can cause then it also has a you can say a lithium like effect in mania lithium like effect in mania ye important hai about carbamazepine theek hai valproate phenytoin one more thing you can add here it is a very potent is an auto inducer it can even induce its own metabolism auto induction is a property seen with carbamazepine most of the anti epileptics are inducers except except which is not an en enzyme inducer but instead is an enzyme inhibitor and that is your theek hai so this is important point enzyme inhibitor not an inducer ठीक है ये इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है सो लेवल्स इसके साथ अगर देंगे द लेवल्स ऑफ द अदर एंटी एपिलेप्टिक इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज रादर दैन डिक्रीज सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन अदर साइड इफेक्ट्स जो इंपॉर्टेंट हैं टू नो इज टू पायरामेट कॉजिंग रीनल स्टोन्स इट हैज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ लाइक कार्बोनिक नाइट्रोजन इनहिबिटर सो इट कॉजेस रीनल स्टोन्स वेट लॉस सो वेट लॉस कॉज करता है इसीलिए इट हैज बीन अप्रूव्ड टू बी यूज्ड इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ ओबेसिटी then there is metabolic acidosis ye both are have been asked as questions theek hai na then zonisamide also causes renal stones right lamotrigine very very important is rash it can uh, vary from you know rash to mild hai to somebody who can develop as sjs right so it has one thing reticabine new drug another name for reticabine is isogabine it's a new drug which is a potassium channel okay tetragonic also you can write teratogenic to pyramid 
um, uh, these have been asked basically yes you can write that open so which opener okay potassium channel opener is retiga bean okay so kya kya cause karta hai urinary retention blue pigmentation of skin and r for ret and ret retinal toxicity it can cause retinal toxicity with retiga bean or isoga bean right now felbamate we did that it's an nmda receptor antagonist and i said that it was not used as an anti epileptic the primary reasons kya hain ye do hepatotoxicity and aplastic anemia jiske wajah se they are not preferred drugs now they are not used because of these reasons theek hai it is not used it's not a preferred drug now yes isoga bean potassium do name hai ek us mein name chalta hai ek ek europe mein name chalta hai to retica bean and isoga bean theek hai these are the two names of the same drug then we have vigabatrin theek hai so vigabatrin mein se jo question usually hai vi visual field defects ye question hai theek hai so that these are the important side effects which have been asked time and again and these are important important side effects to know theek hai so all these are the important side effects of various anti epileptic drugs theek hai so one question we solved the anti epileptic drugs as are okay side effects so the third topic is almost over right is me now we come to the next topic which is about the alcohols Let's read the question. The patient presented with vomiting and ataxia. ठीक है. There were oxalate crystals in the urine, right? Oxalate crystals in the urine. Patient was given ethanol and four methyl pyrazole for the treatment. The likely diagnosis of the patient was. Option one is methanol poisoning. Option two is ethanol poisoning. Option three is ethylene glycol poisoning. Option four is diazepam poisoning. So let's. So what is the correct uh, option or the answer for this? Ethylene glycol. Very good. Ethylene glycol is the correct option. See, ethanol poisoning नहीं हो सकता. We are giving ethanol. So why will we give ethanol for ethanol poisoning? Rule out हो गया. Diazepam poisoning. May the antidote is flumazenil. Now the only thing is whether it is methanol or whether it is ethylene. Because both of them we can give both both the drugs can be given in both the patients. Whether it is a methanol poisoning or it is like ethylene glycol poisoning. Now the only way to differentiate is your this part oxalate crystals. Because जो इथाइलिन ग्लाइकोल आगे जाके ग्लाइकोलिक एसिड से आगे ऑक्जालिक एसिड बनता है एंड देन इट कैन फॉर्म द ऑक्जलेट क्रिस्टल सो दिस इज हाउ वी नो दैट दिस इज एन इथाइलिन ग्लाइकोल पॉइजनिंग नाउ लेट्स जस्ट डू अ लिटिल बिट रिविजन अबाउट व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन द अल्कोहल इज मेटाबोलाइज इन द बॉडी अल्कोहल फर्स्ट बिकम्स एल्डिहाइड देन बिकम्स एसिड ठीक है सो वेदर इट इज योर इथेनॉल वेदर इट इज योर मीथेनॉल or whether it is your ethylene glycol yes it is present in this ethylene glycol now ethanol theek hai acetaldehyde and then acetic acid ethanol ka to yahi banta hai theek hai ab ye question marks isliye maine lagaye hain so what are the enzyme which are involved in this that is important to know so from alcohol to aldehyde we have alcohol dehydrogenase right from aldehyde to acid we have aldehyde dehydrogenase so these two enzymes are there now whenever patient let's say first any uh, consumes methanol for example now methanol is a spurious liquor kehte na jaise kisi ko hum milavat kar diya sharab mein so it is not something which is fit for drinking so methanol will produce whether it is an it produces aldehyde or acid it is a very toxic thing so ultimately yes alcohol dehydrogen first step yes very good uh, yes arnab theek hai so acetic acid so kya hota hai ye jo methanol aage jaake formic acid banayega 
it is very very toxic formic acid especially it is very toxic to the eye people who consume lot of methanol they can even turn blind because of this theek hai so what is important is to stop methanol from you know forming formic acid even iska jo uh, aldehyde wala uh, level hai that's also very toxic and formic acid is very very toxic so main main thing is we have to stop its metabolism ethylene glycol also ultimately glycolic acid and then again oxalic acid it banta and that it is also toxic it is very uh, you know toxic for the body so basically we want to stop the process so what are the various drugs that we can give if you give this drug which is your ethanol what ethanol does ethanol is also getting metabolized by the same alcohol dehydrogenase methanol is also getting metabolized ethylene glycol is also getting uh, metabolized yes yes retinol pe attack karta hai that's why i said it is retinol isme i me retinal damage it is causing the retinal damage yes so ethanol also gets metabolized by alcohol dehydrogenase but what it does it it is preferably jaise alcohol dehydrogenase present in all these three are present so it will preferably be more it is more friendlier towards ethanol so ethanol will get preferably metabolized and it forms aldehyde ठीक है, इट फॉर्म्स एल्डिहाइड एंड देन इट विल गो एंड फॉर्म एसिक एसिटिक एसिड व्हिच इज डस व्हिच इज नॉट टॉक्सिक एट ऑल ठीक है सो दैट इज द रोल ऑफ इथेनॉल दैट इट प्रेफरेबली विल बी अ सबस्ट्रेट फॉर दिस सो जब इथेनॉल है इट विल कंपीट विद मीथेनॉल एंड ऑल एंड इट विल बी अ सबस्ट्रेट फॉर दिस अल्कोहल डिहाइड्रोजेनेस सो ये प्रेफर करेगा एंड दीस विल नॉट बी मेटाबोलाइज्ड एंड देयरफॉर the dangerous acid is not formed so ethanol is one option theek hai the second option is your fomipizole and in this question ye jo 4 methyl pyrazole hai it is nothing but fomi fomipizole ka chemical name hai 4 methyl pyrazole theek hai and this drug is going to inhibit alcohol dehydrogenase so both the drugs fomipazole ethanol they have the effect on alcohol dehydrogenase ethanol will preferably get metabolized as compared to the other and fomipazole is going to inhibit alcohol dehydrogenase so both of the drugs are correct so whether it is your ethylene glycol poisoning or methanol hum dono de sakte hain this is not available in india actually fomipazole is not available in india and in india so we usually give ethanol right so this is important to know fomipazole ho gaya isme important and ethanol now there is another thing here jo aata hai your enzyme this enzyme is also there aldehyde dehydrogenase to aisa kaun sa drug hai which can inhibit the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase the enzyme which can inhibit aldehyde dehydrogenase and that is your di sulfiram theek hai di sulfiram but where is di sulfiram used di sulfiram is used for de addiction theek hai so di sulfiram is not used in poisoning it is used in alcohol de addiction and what does it do it increases the level of acetaldehyde very good uh, now it inhibits the aldehyde dehydrogenase but it increases the level of acetaldehyde in the body and whenever patient consumes aldehyde uh, ethanol as such aldehyde accumulation causes lot of uh, you can say uh, problems uh, tachycardia aversion yeah, very good it is so aversion all the unpleasant effects starts coming so agar at alcohol peene se kisi ko unpleasant effects aayenge definitely he will not be tempted to take alcohol again so that's used for aversion therapy theek hai so disulfiram is basically for de addiction for aversion therapy and that leads to the other things aversion ke liye we use diazepam but if you want to prevent withdrawal withdrawal reactions prevent karne hai then we use benzodiazepines like chlor diazepoxide and number 2 
डाइजिपम अगर नहीं अवेलेबल है क्लोर डाइजिपॉक्साइड डाइजम दिस इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन जो पूछा गया था ठीक है विड्रॉल के लिए क्लोर डाइजिपॉक्साइड एंड सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज डाइजिपैम टू रिड्यूस क्रेविंग द फोर ड्रग्स विच आर यूज अ कैम्प्रोसेट नाल्ट्रेक्सोन टू पायरामेड ऑनडन सेट्रोन ठीक है वी कैन यूज दिस ड्रग अ कैम्प्रोसेट सो यू कैन रिमेंबर अ निमोनिक वी हैव टू से नो टू एल्कोहल ठीक है क्रेविंग रिड्यूस करनी है सो यू हैव टू से नो टू एल्कोहल एन फॉर नाल्ट्रेक्सोन ओ फॉर ऑनडेंसेट्रॉन टी फॉर टोपायरामेट ए फॉर अ कैम्प्रोसेट नो टू एल्कोहल का हो दिस इज टू रिड्यूस द क्रेविंग एंड अनादर क्वेश्चन जो पूछा गया था All of the following drugs are used to reduce craving, except so. Usme ek option tha, disulfiram. So please remember, disulfiram is never used to reduce craving. It is only used to reverse or inhibit or cause aversion. Craving ke liye we have the other drugs. So this is important points. Or these are the important points about the chapter of alcohol also. ठीक है? और इसके बारे में एक और इस रिलेटेड टू दिस देर आर अदर पॉइजनिंग्स आई सेड पॉइजनिंग्स इतना इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है कि टू और थ्री पॉइजनिंग्स आर ऑलवेज टास्ट फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स ठीक है सो लेट्स टेक दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टू डू फास्ट फास्ट हम और सारी पॉइजनिंग्स uh, को भी रिवाइज कर सकते हैं विच आर द ड्रग्स यूज फॉर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ पॉइजनिंग एट्रोपिन और बेलाडोना और दतूरा कोई भी पॉइजनिंग पूछी जाए योर आंसर इज फाइसो स्टिग्मी राइट ऑर्गेनोफॉस्फेट्स एट्रोपिन ऑल्सो कैन बी यूज फॉर कार्बामेट वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज oxymes but not for carbamate early mushroom poisoning very good atropine very good digitalis digibine digifab paracetamol एन एसिटाइल सिस्टीन ठीक है मिथानॉल इथाइलिन ग्लाइकॉल अभी हमने किया वी कैन यूज इथेनॉल वेरी गुड और फॉमीपिजोल यस टी सी ए सोडियम by carbonate beta blockers glucagon theek hai morphine naloxone benzodiazepines just like flu ma zenal these are few important antidotes for the various types of poisoning yes very good yes kishore are now all very good very good naloxone theek hai ye sari important important poisonings and their antidotes to remember sare questions hai Every of every each and every poisoning has been asked in the exams. What is the antidote for this? Okay, so remember that. Then, uh, what else? Is me. Ham next. A important topic hai. Jo that is your opioids. Opioids. Me quickly. We'll not go in the details. Jo important cheez hai. A patient of biliary colic was given an injection. After which his pain worsened. What do you think has been given to the patient? ठीक है कोई इंटर्न आया या कोई सांबर डजेंट है वेरी नॉलेज उसने कहा पेन हो रही है लेट मी गिव अ पेन किलर ठीक है कौन सी पेन किलर उसने दी 
दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ डिक्रीजिंग द पेन इट हैज इंक्रीज द पेन ऐसा क्या कर दिया उसने तो कौन सी ऐसी एनर्जेसिक uh, ड्रग दे दी उसने गलती से कि जिसने पेन इंक्रीज कर दिया डिक्लोफनाक मॉर्फिन लोराजिपा मेटोरिकॉक्सिल क्या दे दिया उसने टू मॉर्फिन वेरी गुड किशोर यस यस अर्न वेरी गुड सो मॉर्फिन राइट सो मॉर्फिन कैन बी यूज इन डिफरेंट क्वालिटी पेन्स बट एक्सेप्ट एक्सेप्ट बिलरी कोलिक वेरी गुड टू रिमेंबर दिस ठीक है बिलरी कोलिक में हम नहीं यूज करते द सिंपल रीजिंग बीन रीन क्या करता है मॉर्फिन मॉर्फिन कॉजेस कंस्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ द स्फिंगटर ऑफ अ डाय एंड यू नो वॉट हैपन्स हियर इज जैसे गॉल ब्लैडर है एंड लेट्स ए गॉल ब्लैडर में स्टोन्स हैं ठीक है सो वेन गॉल ब्लाडर में स्टोन्स है द गॉल ब्लाडर इज ट्राइंग टू कंस्ट्रिक्ट ठीक है देर इज स्टोन्स एंड द रिस्पॉन्स इज देर इज कंस्ट्रिक्शन कंट्रैक्शन ऑफ द गॉल ब्लाडर नाउ दिस इज ट्राइंग टू कंट्रैक्ट एंड द प्रेशर आगे जा रहा है बट स्पिंगटर ऑफ ओडाई इज ऑल्सो कंस्ट्रिक्टेड ठीक है यस बिलरी स्पैलम स्पिंगटर ऑफ ओडाई इज ऑल्सो कंस्ट्रिक्टेड एंड दिस गॉल ब्लाडर इज ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग तो क्या होगा अल्टीमेटली इन साइड द प्रेशर इज गोइंग टू राइज because of the spasm the pressure is going to rise and ultimately there can be rupture of the gall bladder here increases the intra you know the pressure in the gall bladder and causes can rupture similarly agar pancreatic yahan pe pancreatic duct mein bhi koi issue hai and again it will cause finger of or die constriction contraction or constriction sorry and another it will rise the pressure in the pancreatic duct also so therefore it is contraindicated in biliary colic theek hai the reason is increases the pressure inside the bladder and that can lead to bursting or it lead to uh, damage to the gall bladder right uh so morphin adrs these are the adrs which are important to remember and first one meiosis theek hai and why i have written this reason of meiosis here because this was asked as a question the meiosis of uh, caused by morphin is because of what the oculomotor uh, jo nerve hai the third cranial nerve it stimulates uska jo nucleus hai edinga westphal nucleus that gets stimulated so that's the reason for the meiosis because of morphin then it causes respiratory depression then it causes nausea and vomiting urinary retention constipation dysphoria because of kappa receptors ye bhi question aaya hai dysphoria is because of kappa receptors then tolerance develops to all the side effects or all the effects of morphine except cmc is the uh, i am mnemonic to remember constipation meiosis and convulsions tolerance does not develop to these three side effects cmc theek hai it develops to all the other side effects except these three another important question contraindicated in head injury because it increases the intracranial tension another question then pethidine ke bare mein important is this pethidine can cause seizures because its metabolite very good arnav theek hai norpethidine is a cns stimulant and it has a tendency to cause seizures so this is important another one the metabolite which can cause seizures is norpethidine pethidine ka dusra naam is peridine ठीक है सो वेदर इट इज पैथेडीन इट इज मेरेडीन इज वन द सेम थिंग सो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट ऑन दिस ठीक है सो इज नॉट पैथेडीन इज दैटाबलाइट विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल कॉजिंग सीजर्स दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स टू नो ठीक है फिर ओपियोइड पॉइजनिंग अक्यूड ओपियोइड पॉइजनिंग हमने अभी किया द एंटीडोट इज योर 
नेलोक्सोन ठीक है आईवी रूट इट इज नेलोक्सोन देन देर आर दीज आर सम ऑफ द अदर ओपियोड एंटागनिस्ट वेयर द नेम्स आर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दे एक्ट ओनली ऑन द पेरेफ्री इनका सेंट्रल एक्शन इज नॉट देयर बिकॉज दे डोंट क्रॉस द ब्लड बेड बैरियर दैट वेल एंड देर यूज इज एन ओपियोड इंड्यूस्ड कॉन्स्टिपेशन और द पोस्ट ऑपिलियस ठीक है पोस्ट ऑफ इलियस और ओपियर इंड्यूस्ड कॉन्स्टिपेशन एल्वीमोपैन इज यूज फॉर पोस्ट ऑपिलियस कैन बी आस्ट ठीक है सो एल्वीमोपैन पोस्ट ऑपिलियस के लिए दीज थ्री ड्रग्स मिथाइल नाइल ट्रिक्सोन नलॉक्सोजेल नाल डिमेडीन दे आर ऑल यूज फॉर ओपियोइड इंड्यूस्ड कॉन्स्टिपेशन ये पेर फॉर लैक्शन है दिस इज अ न्यूअर ड्रग का antagonist again it is used for it is used for irritable bowel syndrome theek okay? hai just to know there is always a chance for asking a new drug so acemadoline is used for irritable bowel syndrome so acute ki poisoning mein ye zaruri hai naloxone never write the others one naltrexone and all because they are oral drugs so oral drugs acute poisoning mein kabhi kaam nahi aati hai ठीक है सो दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग टू नो कमिंग टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ठीक है सो वी ऑल डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स अबाउट द ओपियोइड्स हियर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द मोस्ट कॉमन लिमिटिंग एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ लीवोडोपा पार्किसनिज्म में लीवोडोपा इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट हियर मोस्ट कॉमन लिमिटिंग एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑफ लीवोडोपा वेदर इट इज योर डिप्रेशन डिस्काइनिजिया नोजिया और ऑर्थोस्टेटिक हाइपोटेंशन लिमिटिंग कॉमन लिमिटिंग एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स दैट मीन्स द पेशेंट इट हैज डिफिकल्टी इन टॉलरेटिंग दीज साइड इफेक्ट्स सो द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट लिमिटिंग एडवर्स इफेक्ट कौन सा हो सकता है आउट ऑफ ऑल दीज या सो द मोस्ट लिमिटिंग जो होता है ना बेसिकली दैट इज योर Dyskinesia. ठीक है सो द रेस्ट आर देर बट द पेशेंट कैन ऑलरेडी कैन यूज गेट यूज टू इट बट डिस्काइनिजिया इज समथिंग विच इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर द पेशेंट टू टॉलरेट डिस्काइनिजिया ठीक है सो दीज आर योर इम्पॉर्टेंट ए डी आर्स ऑफ लीवोडोपा डिस्काइनिजिया डिप्रेशन इंसोमिया नोजिया वॉमिटिंग आर्थोस्टेटिक हाइपो टेंशन ये कुछ एरियाज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट है और डिस्काइजनीजिया इज मोर यू नो इट गेट्स इंक्रीज स्पेशली वेन यू कंबाइन लीवोडोपा प्लस कार्बिडोपा बिकॉज मोर ऑफ द लीवोडोपा गेट्स एंटर्स इन टू द सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू द डोपा मीन एंड दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल सो यस यस आर नव इट इज डिस्कैनिजिया सो दिस इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग टू रिमेंबर अबाउट दिस लीवोडोपा से कार्बिडोपा कंबाइन करते हैं सो मोस्ट सो यहाँ पे और क्या चीज इंपॉर्टेंट है लीवोडोपा carbidopa combination then they ask you what is carbidopa very simple it is a peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor yes it increases with carbidopa peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor that is your carbidopa levodopa ka drug interaction should not be combined never give vitamin b6 when the patient is on levodopa because it is a cofactor increases the activity of dopa decarboxylase in the periphery theek hai dopa decarboxylase in the periphery so therefore we do not give vitamin b6 right but if we are giving l dopa with carb dopa because this drug is already inhibiting this then this विटामिन बी सिक्स में नॉट डू मच ऑफ बैड टू द लीवोडोपा अगर अकेले दे रहे हैं देन अ प्रॉब्लम इफ यू गिविंग इट विद कार्बिडोपा देन दिस ड्रग इंटरक्शन डजेंट होल्ड दैट गुड सो विटामिन बी सिक्स शुड नॉट बी गिवन विद पेशेंट हु इज ऑन टू द पेशेंट हु इज ऑन लीवोडोपा बट एक और चीज इसमें से एक क्वेश्चन आती है विटामिन बी सिक्स देना किसमें चाहिए डेफिनेटली विद एनी ड्रग विद विच वी हैव टू गिव विटामिन बी सिक्स it is not from the cns drug but still 
इसमें देख के विटामिन बी सिक्स शुड ऑलवेज बी गिवन विद इट शुड ऑलवेज बी गिवन विद आइसोनाइज इट राइट इट शुड वेरी गुड ऑन वेरी ऑलवेज बी गिवन विद आइसोनाइज इट बिकॉज यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ द पेरिफेल न्यूरोपैथी ठीक है दैट इज दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउट लीवोडोपा एंड द लीवोडोपा के लिए ये सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है द साइड इफेक्ट्स काबिडोपा प्लस लीवोडोपा यस दे कैन आस्क यू इन केस ड्रग इंड्यूस्ड पार्किसनिज्म ट्रीटमेंट क्वेश्चन ये ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस फॉर ड्रग इंड्यूस्ड पार्किसनिज्म What is the answer? Drug of choice for drug-induced Parkinsonism. These are your centrally acting anti-cholinergics. Benzexol, triaxiphenyl, biperidin. All these drugs are. Used for centrally acting, uh, these are centrally acting anticholinergics. Yes, for drug-induced Parkinsonism. Another very very important question to know. Okay. So these are uh, I could find the various uh, MCQs from the chapter or from the topic of central nervous system. So very very uh, jo high yield points and the all the high yield points have been asked before and. Uh, lot of chances that they can be repeated in one form or the other and therefore you can definitely just go through them later on whenever you have time and try to uh, many of you have already familiar with them will find it easier to revise and those who there are certain things which are new for some some of you you can just go and add on to these points to your notes and uh, get ready with your central nervous system all right so this was all about the central nervous system revision rapid revision and uh, next time i'll come with uh, another let me uh, think of another topic and uh, we will revise questions from that topic right which can be covered easily there are certain topics are longer we can divide into two but these ones anti cancer yeah okay anti cancer we'll do certain because anti cancer is lot of anti cancer is uh, there's more of uh, drug which are for uh, you know rectifications only but that's we can do the anti cancer revision maybe next or next to next whenever i i'll see if we divide it to so anti cancer so i don't know taken feedback taken maybe next or uske baad dono mein se uh, this weekend or the other weekend uh, i'll do anti cancer shortly before the exams all right uh, thank you for attending those who could uh, yes so in case any other topics that you have uh, just you can message me on insta also or if you're there in the group you can tell me in the group also and we'll be holding uh, more topics like such in the future all right anti diarrheal okay i'll cover git as a whole because anti diarrhea would be a very smaller topic uh, i will try to cover git as a whole then uh, maybe so these two topics thank you thank you arna so uh, abhi i have anti cancer and an git on the list so i'll try to cover up so let me see which uh, one i can uh, prepare and which is the best one i'll these topics i'll definitely share no problem theek hai all right all right take care everybody have a great great evening see you next time till then have a awesome study well whoever who all are studying for exam study thoroughly and wish you all the best